Hey Strong Siders, today we're breaking down the landmine press. We're going to be working in the half kneeling position, so take a look at our last video to make sure that your posture is proper in the lower body before beginning this video. So what we're doing is we're pushing a bar up and out at about a 45 degree angle, making sure our shoulder blade moves forward into projection and retracts on the way down as you can see in this video. If you find you are trying to get into more of an overhead position and you're currently restricted, we can passively push into that range. So after you do a press, you will shift the body forward, allowing that arm to get dragged up into the overhead position. Let's take a closer look at the movement of the shoulder blade. As you press up overhead, the shoulder blade goes through upward rotation. This is, on my left side, a clockwise rotating movement. On the right side, it would be counterclockwise. Think about the bottom corner of your shoulder blade. It starts down by your spine, drifts up and out towards the outside of your rib cage. This is necessary so you can probably get your arm overhead. Taking a look from the front, we want to keep the wrist, elbow, and bar in line. As you're coming down, one of the most common faults is to have your wrist drop inside the elbow, basically going through internal rotation as you lower the bar. This is not a good starting point. You want to make sure everything's in line when you press. The other thing we see a lot of is the wrist collapsing backwards. This usually compensates for a lack of external rotation of the shoulder. That's the landmine press, and as always, stay strong, strong siders.